all right so guys so welcome back and uh, uh don't mind the mess you know men's shed is never tidy you know especially when you're doing your diy stuff so you have to fix and figure out few things here and there so that's just standing in the tire they are right so you can see it looks nice and clean i could have made the wings from pvc but then again i want you know these edges and the finishing you know i know it will work but i just want it to something nice and better right so now i'll show you now exactly again so these three uh screws are i i removed this screws here i removed these screws here right i i took off that plate with the help of screwdrivers and then i um i didn't remove the tire and then i took out the router from inside which is pretty hard thing to do uh you will see in a lot of uh videos you will find uh people are doing it and you will see right and i took it out and i made three holes if you see that there i made three holes and then i made a plate i cut a plate and then i fixed this router on that plate right the reason is if something goes wrong with these blades i don't have to go and dig out again open the whole thing and then i could have fixed this onto that but i don't want to touch this part anymore that's it that's done that's done and dusted so again lock nut here and you can see to make it more secure i put more lock nuts and i put hot glue here so no water can penetrate through right and then i put that hub onto plate and i fix that plate right so you can see hopefully i'll try to get focus here and you can see this so you can see the whole thing moves together right but if i have to change if the wings bro breaks i all i have to do is open open these screws right and get this this hub plate out that's all i have to do right i will have to i will have to open these screws i will have to open these screws here because this plate is also connecting this these but i don't have to go and take out them all i do is lose the the top uh the what you call is nuts take out this plate and then just change the the blades that's all i have to do and this plate what i did is my wife was throwing her away a uh, you can see a uh, pressure cooker uh, galvanized one really thick plate really strong piece so this is all from the waste what i'm doing right now yes and uh, you can see i cut a almost a circle i think so i did that and uh, you can see she will be moving and the progress i will keep up with your progress with the progress and now you can see in my previous video i showed you so everything is in the hoverboard everything even look at this this screws for the wheel this is the the hub rod that is coming from inside that there is bearing one here one actually on the front of uh on the front and you can see everything is is it's just amazing you know and now these three wires are the ones gonna attach to my 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 slip ring and by the way guys that this slip ring will not go this way it it doesn't go the top side doesn't go inside the top side actually stays inside and this is going to go out so i show you now so basically when this goes inside i could be wrong but i know this is the way it's supposed to be done so basically the main scenario here is the wires that are going towards your system are not twisting you know so once that going to rotate right once that's this this is gonna rotate that's gonna stay that's gonna rotate right and the wires that are attached here and this this look at this look this no this this will be moving see so it's always go upside down it never goes this way It won't go this way. So.
So I, I think I think that's what it is. I, I could be wrong, but do your research anyway. But this is something I said I'll share with you. And uh, we have a yeah. So th so far that's the progress. And anything else, I'll I'll let you know, guys. And you can see it's gonna be a tough move for this because it is a 36 volt motor now, brushless. Uh, so it will it will require at least 2.5 or 3 uh, meter per second wind turbine to even move like like this maybe you know it might need more because it is even if I'm moving like that I can hear the sound coming out of it so yeah I'm pretty happy and it's uh, it's pretty clean work I think um, I'm I'm all my DIY other I have done before as well previous ones but this is the best I like it the one. This one is the best I can, I think I have done it so far. Um, yeah, my vertical one I'll show you, share with you as well. Once this will go up, the other one will come down and I'll show you that one as well. All right, guys, thanks for your time, guys. Thanks very much. Uh, yeah, if you have anything uh, DIY that you have done it, do share with me as well. And please give me some advice and leave some comments and see if I can improve that. <sighs> Beautiful. Thank you, guys. Thanks very much. Hello guys, just a short video again, back with a short video of this hover, hoverboard wheel which is 36 volts. Um, I said I'll just show you now how to put this slip ring in. So you can see that and it's a good thing. So people should use these slip rings uh, with their, when they are doing um, DIY stuff even. And I made a hole of course, right? According to the, this pipe, it's 40 mm pipe. You can see it's going in the bearing. I got this from a hardware shop. And then you can see these bearings. So I attached it to the body of the hoverboard. And uh, now, and now you can see it's swinging nice. My pipe is gonna stay there. And you can see that uh, actually my slip ring, you can see a good example. It's moving with this and my wire that is inside the poles are not twisting because the ring in between is actually moving and the wires are steady. So um, this is actually, I need to sort this out now and then when I have it fully done for you, I'll show you. And you can see now, my slip ring is moving. So there'll be no movement up here, it's gonna move with the body and the ring inside this will be going 360 and then the my, my wires that are coming through the pipe will all st will stay steady all right guys so i said i just give you a small update on this and uh, hopefully i'm gonna put a cover now on it once it's ready uh it's pretty rainy outside at the moment when it's ready i'm gonna uh show you another video and again i'm keep repeating in case people miss my first video i made three holes through i took out all this um, router from inside three holes through that and uh, then I attach a plate to it and on that plate I ordered this from Aliexpress very cheap the wings and this router you know I don't have to look around and then I ordered and I attach all this onto this plate and it is spinning I checked this four volt by just turning with the hand all right so let me give you another update when I finish all this stay with me guys thanks for watching and giving your time to my youtube channel and uh, please like and subscribe thanks very much